Hello students, welcome. Today I would like to explain the concept of Schrodinger time dependent wave equation. Schrodinger time dependent wave equation is a equation of motion for a de Broglie's matter waves. This is also fundamental equation for the quantum mechanics. Okay, for solve this equation, we have to introduce a mathematical expression for a de Broglie's matter waves. That one we are calling as a wave function. That one I am taking here psi equals to a e power minus i omega into t minus x by v. Okay, this is one dimensional. I am taking here. Here, omega is the angular frequency that is omega equals to 2 pi nu. And v is the velocity of the particle. So, that one I am taking as a v equals to nu lambda. Now, the modified wave function can be written like psi equals to a into e power minus i omega. Omega means Okay, if I take this one, so that will omega into t, that means 2 pi nu t minus omega into x by v, omega means 2 pi nu and x by v means in terms of frequency and wavelength, nu lambda. Okay, here, okay, nu nu cancel. That implies we can write the wave function psi equals to a e power minus i 2 pi nu t minus 2 pi by lambda of x. This one I am calling as a equation number 1. Now I want to, now I want to express this one in terms of energy and also the momentum. Okay. So that's why according to Planck's radiation law, what we know is Planck's radiation law, what we know is E equals to H nu, E equals to H nu. But here we want 2 pi nu. That's why I am multiplying with 2 pi and dividing with 2 pi, 2 pi, okay, into nu. So this one I am writing as H by 2 pi H cut h by 2 pi, that is I am, I am going to be write like h cat and 2 pi nu, okay? h cat into 2 pi, so what do we want here? 2 pi nu, so that implies 2 pi nu equals to what we can write is e by h cat. <laughs> next, next what we are going to be write here is Okay, 2 pi by lambda. Now, I would like to introduce that one. The de Broglie's wavelength, lambda, it is associated with a momentum that is h by p. Lambda equals to h by p. So, lambda equals to h by p. Here, 2 pi by lambda here we, we have. So, that's why I am once again here multiplying with 2 pi and dividing with 2 pi. Okay, h by 2 pi once again we can write h cad and 2 pi by that implies what we want here, 2 pi by lambda, we want. So that's why this lambda I am bringing this side. Okay, then 2 pi by lambda equals to 2 pi by lambda. So the, this p goes that side, p and p by h cut. Now these two I am going to be substitute in equation 1. Okay, if I substitute, okay. Uh, 2 pi nu, that means if I call this one as equation 2 and equation 3, second and third equations substitute in equation 1, then we can write the wave function psi equals to a into e power minus i into 2 pi nu. In the place of 2 pi nu, we will write the energy function that is E by H cat into T is there T minus 2 pi by lambda. Instead of 2 pi by lambda, we will write P by 
h cut p by h cut into x so here we will take that h cut uh, 1 by h cut as a common then the wave function psi equals to a e power minus i by h cut into e t minus p x now for this equation we have to differentiate once with respect to the x and with respect to the time also okay shall we do yes now i am going to be do that differentiation okay. now differentiate above wave function with respect to with respect to first we have to differentiate that one with respect to the t so if we do lh side becomes dou psi by dou t a is a constant term so we have to write it outside okay just i would like to recall that formula so that is dou by dou theta of e power i theta means so you have to write e power i theta and once again we have to be differentiate what are the term exist in the power if we do like that dou theta by dou theta 1 that's when i will come same formula we have to be apply here dou psi by dou t equals to same that means whatever the exponential term same we have to write minus i by h cut into e t minus p x so once again we have to differentiate the power term what is the power term okay minus i by h cut is there minus i by h cut and e t minus p x so here we are differentiating partially that's why if you are doing partially this component becomes constant that's why it is zero then minus i by h cut into e t so already i by h cut we wrote okay it though by dou t t of e so that means e we will get so this is looks like a wave function psi that's why that equation we can write dou psi by dou t equals to dou psi by dou t equals to minus i by h cut into e of so instead of this one i am writing psi now multiply with multiply with i on both sides and substitute i square equals to minus 1 i square equals to minus 1 if we multiply this this one we will get i into dou psi by dou t equals to i into i i square i into i i square minus by h cut e psi so from this i would like to write e psi equals to e psi equals to i h cut this side it is denominator that will multiply i h cut i square means minus 1 minus of minus plus that's why e psi equals to i h cut into dou psi by dou t this is the energy okay so we have to be know that the total energy of the particle is the sum of the kinetic energy plus potential energy okay because of that one we have to be differentiate this equation with respect to x for two times okay now i will do So, three equations, that one I am calling as a fourth equation. This is fourth equation. Fourth equation partially differentiate with respect to x. If we do the partial differentiation, the LH side becomes so, dou psi by dou x. Dou psi by dou x equals to the same term will become like, same like that minus i by h cut into e t minus p x okay we don't stop why because whatever the term included inside so once again we have to differentiate so with respect to x we are partially differentiating that's why we may leave this one okay we have to take this one minus of minus plus i by h cut i by h cut and dou by dou x of p x dou by dou x of p x we will get so this is that implies what we can write is dou psi by dou x equals to 
IP by H cut of psi, IP by H cut of psi. Okay, this equation I am calling as a equation number 5. Once again, partially differentiate above equation. So, if we do this one, once again, what we will get? So, left hand side, we will get dou square psi by dou x square equals to a mass quotient dou by dou x of dou psi by dou x. But if dou psi by dou x and already man kochindi, a mochindi dou psi by dou x and a e power minus i by h cut into e t minus p x round into okay i p by h cut. So e i p by h cut by this is kochindi like that. Okay, dou square psi by dou x square equals to a mochindi i p by h cut already there. Dou by dou x of a e power. So that means once again, we will write I P psi by H cut. That means I into I, I square, I square means minus. P into P, P square and psi by H cut square. So, from this, I want to write P square. Okay. So, P square psi equals to what I can write is minus H cut square into dou square psi by dou x square. This is equation calling as a 6. In the last step what we are going to be doing is the total energy of the particle. The total energy of the particle is the sum of the kinetic energy plus potential energy. Okay, that means the total energy, the total energy of the particle is the sum of the kinetic energy plus potential energy. So kinetic energy in the previous class I already told you kinetic energy formula is of mv square. So, this of mv square, if we want to write it in terms of momentum, we have to multiply with m and divide with that one. Therefore, the kinetic energy in terms of momentum, mass into velocity momentum, square is there, p square and 2m. That's why the total energy E equals to p square by 2m plus potential energy V. I am applying the wave function psi, that's why E psi equals to p square psi plus 2m, p square psi by 2m plus v of psi. Now we have to substitute the e psi value, okay, and also the p square psi value, e psi value, e psi equals to how much we got, i h cut dou psi by dou t, equals to p square psi, p square psi means minus h cut square by 2m, minus h cut square by 2m into dou square psi by dou x square plus v of psi. This is a one dimensional equation. In three dimensional, so we have to introduce remaining coordinates also. i h cut dou psi by dou t equals to minus h cut square 2m by 2m dou square psi by dou x square plus dou square psi by dou y square plus dou square psi by dou z square plus v of psi. So, it is in the three-dimensional wave equation. Is it clear? Okay. If you like this one, please like, share and also for more updates, click the bell icon. Thank you.